r slash ask reddit all you can eat buffet workers what are your horror stories picked up some fish and chips recently saw they had all you can eat on wednesdays so i asked what is the most that someone 18 pieces of fish and three plates she held up this huge platter of fries every single wednesday so he eats that exact order every week yes and he goes to a different all you can eat every day of the week he got banned from the chinese place down the road that's kind of sad obviously an eating addiction college friend worked at a chinese buffet he said they caught a regular dipping his pizza in the wonton soup bowl like in the queue and not at his table and eating it bite dip bite dip bite dip after the fourth time in a month he did it management finally kicked him out are the classic four strikes and you're out i had a co-worker that briefly managed a ryan's buffet he said that it was fairly common for people to gorge themselves then purge in the restroom and start eating again so that they could get their money's worth leave it to ryan's buffet where the quantity is the goal and eight year old kids are six feet zero with mustaches when you talk about something gross at a buffet ryan's is always there to say hold my beer they legit just have ham sitting in boiled water i worked at a ruby tuesday in center city philly first floor of the liberty place building i had a couple that would come in about twice a week that requested me they would gorge themselves at the salad bar for about an hour ask for large glasses of water with no ice then both would take the water into the bathroom they would come out a few minutes later with empty glasses ask for the check and leave i finally put it together that they were bulimic after i walked in the women's bathroom and it smelled like vomit very polite folks and tipped well though there was a fairly expensive restaurant in dallas in the 80s called southern kitchen about 25 dollars per person back then with food served to the table really good stuff they were famous for cinnamon rolls the owner said he'd seen men it many women ruin expensive purses hiding those rolls man i miss that place i was once at an old country buffet waiting patiently to get some mac and cheese the kid in front of me plied his plate high and then started tapping the serving spoon to get all of the chessy goodness free from the confines of the spoon once he was satisfied with his handiwork he licked the spoon clean i didn't have any mac and cheese and haven't been back since what an a-hole child me personally i duck and love me some mac and cheese hands would have been thrown if it were me wouldn't actually punch a kid but man i'd be pissed on mayo went as a customer to a golden corral i'm walking to the chocolate fountain and three little girls step in front of me and all three of them just go hands deep in the fountain the family was the first table by the fountain and all they did was laugh about how cute it was employees turned it off immediately at least they turned it off and i'm assuming didn't let anyone eat it anymore for real that could have been worry worse if the employees had just laughed along with the parents not an employee but i was standing behind a woman at hometown buffet she was getting some lasagna or something basically a really cheesy pasta that when you lift the serving utensil a lot of cheese hangs on i witnessed her lift her pasta twirl all the excess cheese that was connected around her index finger and there was a lot clip it off with her thumbnail and then fling it back into the pasta i knew i shouldn't have been at hometown buffet in the first place but this solidified my stance to never go back buffet where i live got shut down for serving coyote meat and labeling it as other meats a place near me got busted last year for trapping seagulls on the roof and passing it off as chicken no shit a place my family used to frequent just got busted earlier this year for have caged pigeons in the basement at one point myself and two other family members worked at a golden corral each in different sections because small towns don't have a lot of job options for high school college kids i worked in the bakery which was surprisingly low in horror stories other than the chaos that remained after a large group of children came through my brother worked the steak station he got these regulars that would tip him pretty well if he would prepare blue steaks for them the very idea of ordering blue steaks from a buffet makes me gag my cousin worked the salad bar. Management would require her to keep seafood items on the bar for long after the point where they'd be safe to consume. I think the record was chilled shrimp from Mother's Day that stayed for over a week and a half. They finally caved and let her toss them when a customer complained about the smell. 
not a buffet, but I worked at a pizza parlor that offered a lunch buffet of endless pizza. The lunch ran from 11 a.m. 3 p.m. This gentleman comes in, I think he was homeless. He serves up a sky-high plate of pizza and just goes to town. He stayed from the beginning to the very end to make sure he got his money's worth. Well, his body didn't appreciate being stuffed like a piñata of pizza. He got up waddled fast to the bathroom and next thing I know I'm being told he had liquid shit trailing behind him to the bathroom and inside the bathroom. I was informed by my boss about the incident. I told him I was just heading out for a break. I was not about to clean that up. Not a worker but, I was at a Chinese buffet with a hot pot option that you had to pay extra for. There was a separate section with the stuff for that which was raw. This guy loaded up his plate with all this raw stuff and was eating it, including dangerous raw stuff like shrimp. I think he may have been slightly intellectually disabled. The Chinese staff had to come over and inform him that he was eating the wrong things and try to explain it to him. He got really embarrassed and said that he did not understand how it worked. Between the Chinese staff with their limited English and this poor guy who was not capable of really understanding what he had done wrong. It was one of those awkward moments in a life that you cannot forget no matter how much you try. I had a roommate that was diagnosed Asperger's and had lived with his mother till he was like 34. Dude wasn't really functional. He said his car was shaking when he got up to 50 mph plus on the highway. I later noticed him pouring oil into his car. I asked him if he had ever changed the oil, or if he just added it. I encouraged him to go to an oil change place and have them swap the oil. Lo and behold his car stopped shaking when it got to 50 plus. Poor dude. I had to kick him out of the house after he was about 1500 behind on rent to me. I think he's on government assistance now. Thank god. Not a worker, but I went to hometown buffet and the kid in front of me was slightly shorter than the buffet bar but had his hands in the yellow jello, just massaging it. Then his mom came by and snatched him away but didn't say anything while a guy came and made himself a bowl of jello. 10 years old me was too appalled to say anything. I haven't eaten jello since then. My first job was as a dishwasher in an all-you-can-eat fried catfish buffet. People are animals, especially the ones that get far more food off the buffet than they can eat. Then they take the leftovers and pile them on a plate or tray, cover in ketchup and tartar sauce, then pour their iced tea over the top of all that. A lot of people did that got at least two plates like that a night. Nothing made me hate people like busing dishwashing on buffet night at the pizza place I worked at in college. What the duck. Serving after church crowd is pretty high up there though. Jesus Christ would never have changed a dirty diaper on the table and left it there. Okay beach. Not a worker but I once saw a grown man have a childlike meltdown over the fact that he showed up to soup plantation too late and missed out on the biscuits and gravy. To be fair, that really is a traumatic experience. I didn't work at an all you can eat, but my sister did. The buffet itself was on the first floor, so you had to take either the stairs or the elevator to your seat. Once there was a lady who was carrying a tray with a whole lot of stuff on it down. Glasses, plates and a whole lot more of junk. My sister asked the lady if she needed any assistance, to which the lady replied you assume because I'm fat, I need help. My sister didn't react. A few seconds later the lady fell down the stairs. There was blood and food everywhere. This honestly seems like a horrible idea. Why would the buffet be on the first floor? Leaving people with full trays to cram into an elevator or climb stairs? What an awful business plan lol. The professor of my college microbiology class was also a director at the state health department in charge of inspecting restaurants. The first thing she told us on day one was never ever eat at an all you can eat buffet. I was a customer, not a worker. My wife and I went to a sweet tomatoes for a lunch date. Unlimited salad and soup was always good. One time, I saw a man over by the soups take the serving ladle for one of the weekly specials and take a big slurp from it. Then apparently he didn't like it and spat it back out into the ladle. And put the ladle back in the soup. WTF. Dude. I got up immediately and told the nearest staff what I'd seen. And they got right on getting that nearly full pot of soup out of there. I didn't have any more soup that visit. The what ifs were too damn strong. Which is a shame. Because I love their chunky chicken noodle. 
I was just a witness but I saw how a woman came in with about 5 kids and she made them all sit at a table while she got food. Even if they seemed old enough to get it themselves. She just grabbed 2 trays, placed 3 plates on both of them and literally poured all the chicken nuggets on one plate so it was a huge mountain. She did the same to 5 other dishes and left 5 pans that were full or almost full before she came empty. Needless to say people were pissed. Especially when she did it multiple times again with other dishes and would often glare at people if she saw them taking food from dishes she probably wanted. So I work in an all you can eat using tablets. This is, according to my boss, based on a Japanese kind of restaurant. We serve mostly Asian food. From Chinese to Japanese and even some Korean. The premise is that people order their food in rounds and we then bring the food to their table when it is ready. We always warn customers beforehand that, if they leave food behind, because they order too much, they will have to pay extra, depending on what they left behind. We have seen people try the weirdest stuff if it comes to not paying extra. People dumping food in their handbags, to people shoving it in their mouths then go to the toilet and flush it, to putting hair on it and blaming us for it, we see them pull this stuff, etc. And when we actually catch them doing it, they blame us for it and refuse to pay. Some people let it come down to the police to sort it out sometimes. There have been multiple occasions on which they were involved to solve the problem for just 5 euros. Dut. I guess some people's greed has no extent. I bus at a slightly nicer restaurant. On Fridays and Sundays we offer a prime rib and crab leg buffet, among a salad bar, hot and cold entrees, and a dessert bar. It's honestly pretty nice and our buffet runner keeps anyone from doing ungodly things to the buffet. But the one incident that will always stand out to me was when this family of 5 came in. From the moment they came in to the moment they left, they ate as many crab legs as they possibly could. Their server and I were clearing plates off as fast as we could, but every time we would return it seemed like another mountain of crab leg shells would appear in front of each member of that family. I know not how they ate so much and I honestly can't recall if they are anything besides the crab. Piles upon piles of shells were left upon the table after they left. It was truly a sight to behold. What's more is after I wiped down the table and came back with settings. I had to get another rag to wipe down the table again because something in the crab leg juice combined with our sanitizer and left a nice milky residue upon the table. Delicious. When I leave this job I'll never be able to look at crab legs the same way. Family was gone and I saw their dirty plates with napkins crumpled on top so of course I clean it up and bust the plates. 15 minutes later they come back and the mom starts yelling at me in Spanish so I get my co-worker to translate and basically her daughter's retainers were in the napkins and I already threw them away. She kept complaining about how they were $250 plus so I literally had to dig through a huge trash can full of a sludge of food and drinks for 15 minutes. But fortunately I found them and the daughter thanked me and she seemed embarrassed that her mom made me dig through the trash. Not an employee or a customer, but we had a Chinese buffet shut down for a health code violation. Which was employee was cutting veggies while taking a shit. To this day I still wonder if that means dude brought a bucket into the kitchen or veggies into the shitter and I honestly don't know which is worse. Not a worker, sorry, but the golden corral in the city where I went to college got shut down thanks to an employee. He found it odd that they made a busboy sign a non-disclosure form to work there. He found out it was because they were breaking just about every health and safety rule. They were serving meat that had gone green. They would leave food out overnight. The freezer once broke down for 3 days and they kept serving from it despite it being in the danger zone. He wore a hidden camera and gave the news the footage. It made me so glad I never ate there. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.